Yes, if the lighting was better, you could look at my ass. <laughs> but you can't look, I've got my hair cut. Ha-ha! <laughs> right, right. Thanks for the round of applause, but I did not cut my hair myself. <laughs> Contrary to what you might think. No, I didn't. I like this haircut. I was going to... I, but every time I get a haircut, I always think I look surprised. <laughs> and then every time I get a haircut, I think, God, I'm getting old. It's time. It's time. So next week... <laughs> that's it. Would you ever get plastic surgery, Jeff? How dare you. <laughs> Maybe just a little lift here, get your cheekbones, uh, maybe a, a nose. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you. What? Why aren't you speaking to me? I'm just, uh, I, I'm just, you know, trying to, you know, make fun of you. <laughs> You're being a jackass. <laughs> How dare you? I'm not speaking to you. Well, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's the show tonight. There's going to be tension between me and Jeff. Apparently, we're not getting along. <laughs> <laughs> we get along just fine. We're buddies. We live in the same house. And when uh, emergencies happen, we slide down a fireman's pole. <laughs> that's code. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an emergency every night! We'll be right back, everybody. So good. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. A special thank you to the two dudes over there. Like, why the hell is everybody doing it? <laughs> it's kind of a thing we do here. We pretend that uh, you're happy to see me. I, <laughs> I pretend I'm happy to see you. And we go through the charade. <laughs> Where really we should just get to the sex. No, then the show would be finished. No. <laughs> hey, guess what? What? I'll tell you. It's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> There's a, you know my friend Larry King? Larry King. <laughs> my friend. Well, I, he's kind of my friend. He's sort of, anyway, he announced that when he passes away, he wants to be frozen so he can be reanimated in the future. And I'm like, <laughs> we already did that. <laughs> Every time he's on the damn show, we're like, welcome, Larry. Boom. <laughs> Scientists say they've discovered a planet that's Earth's twin. It's uh, ideal conditions for life, a temperature of 71 degrees, that's four seasons. The only difference is it's twice as large as Earth. So scientists say that if there are people, they would have to be double the size of regular humans. Because the gravity and the size and stuff would be like a whole planet of Khloe Kardashians. <laughs> No, don't applaud that. Don't applaud that. That's, that's just the kind of mean-spirited late-night joke that I do not approve of. Why the hell would you say something like that? 
Are you watching what's going on in Russia? Neither am I, but apparently there's a lot. No, it's going crazy in Russia. There's thousands of demonstrators poured onto the streets of Moscow. As I speak, there are p angry people are camped out in Red Square, and that's real protesting in Moscow is December. It's cold. Uh, uh, how cold is it? It's so... How cold, how cold is it in Russia, uh, Jeff? Why, it's so cold in Russia that Sarah Palin got frostbite just watching it from her house. Nice! It's so cold, people were getting their, uh, their tongue stuck to the vodka bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. It's so cold, red square turned blue. <laughs> it's so cold, people are pouring borscht down their pants to stay warm. It's so cold, they traded the hammer and sickle for hot cocoa and mittens. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. You guys? Balls. Okay. <laughs> no, the protesters in Russia are angry because it looks like a Putin's party. Putin's party. <laughs> they played some dirty tricks in the elections. Uh, little stuff like cyber attacks on the opposition party websites, stealing ballot boxes, allowing some precincts to report, and I'm not kidding, 146% of the vote. <laughs> And this is a true thing. This is why people are married. This, this, this is true. Apparently, the mental asylums, asylums voted unanimously for Putin. <laughs> unanimously! In a mental asylum! In every election, someone in a mental asylum votes for Donald Duck just because he has no pants on! <laughs> Russian politics were a lot simpler when they were all just godless commies during the Cold War. And looking back on it, the Cold War wasn't that bad. Less shooting in a regular war, and our nipples were harder. <laughs> but it did make our peepees look small. But that's the price of freedom. A democracy without a fair election, of course, is unjust. Unless your side wins, then it's fine. <laughs> is that not true? I thought that was okay. Apparently, no, international observers say that the election might have to be done over. Because, uh, you know, Vladimir, Vladimir, uh, you know, Vladimir Putin is what I'm saying. He, uh, he's a repressive tyrant, I admit, but his campaign ads were sensational. We, we got a real, ca this is a real campaign ad from Putin's campaign. Take a look at this. <laughs> Do you like that music, Jeff? That. Do you like that? And then the girl and the guy go into the thing. He's encouraging stuff in the ballot box, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Very sexy ad. The only American candidate making an ad like that would be Herman Cain, and he's not in the race anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I reckon we got another day or two on that crap, and then we're done. <laughs> Winston Churchill once said that Russia, he, what he said about Russia, he said, Russia, there's a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. <laughs> then again, Churchill liked to drink. When he met Joseph Stalin, he said, Young lady, fetch my trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Russia's stability is a serious business, so they're the, the world's biggest exporter of oil, and they've got nuclear weapons, and they're the sole, you know, world suppliers of those little dolls with one inside the other one, inside the other one, inside the other one. If something goes wrong in Russia, we'll be out of those, and, uh, oil. <laughs> I was in Russia a few months ago in St. Petersburg. It's gorgeous. At night, everything's all white and lit up. It looked like a giant wedding cake without the horrifying as a side effect of being at a wedding. <laughs> But I don't know why I did being at a wedding like that. <laughs> being at a wedding. <laughs> no, St. Have you ever been to St. Petersburg? It's oh, lovely. hell yeah. Yeah, you got a little place there? I got a little place there, It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. They've got the modern buildings in contrast with the churches, with their old onion domes. 
<laughs> By the way, old onion domes is what I call my testicles. <laughs> because they bring a tear to my eyes and, uh, and, and I put them in soup. <laughs> Only your soup. <laughs> Wouldn't put them in borscht though, cold. Bor borscht is cold. Well, it can be. It's prepared warm or cold. <laughs> oh, really? That's true, actually. That's true, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Not funny in any way, but true. Well, my borscht is warm all the time. <laughs> is that code? Yes. I see. <laughs> Have you seriously ever been to Russia? Yeah, oh yeah, a couple yeah. of times. A couple of times, yeah? Yeah. Where, yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, to the uh, the big dome, the onion dome, uh, one of those places. You've never been to Russia. No, I was very drunk at the time. Oh, well, then you might have been. They drink a lot there. Oh, they do. Yeah, they're like Irish people, but easier to understand. <laughs> This is happening right now. I wonder how long we would do this before CBS just went, oh, go to commercial anyway. <laughs> You know, we should do porn soundtracks together. We'd be great at it. Hello, I've come to deliver you a pizza. <laughs> Oh, was that the music? Yeah, that, no, that was what was happening. That was what was happening. <laughs> Wait a minute, your we sounded deeper than mine. That's because mine's bigger. That's what I thought. Easy lob. Hey, what, uh, what time is it, Jeff Pierce? Tonight's Tweet Mail brought to you by Old Onion Domes Hotel and Casino. <laughs> Peel away layers of stress in our spa or dip your privates in a steaming hot bowl of borscht. Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, fleeting. and web, face code, quit zone, ask mode, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets. And also emails. Also the emails. All right, here's an email. This is from Lindsay in Montreal, Quebec. That's up in Canada. Oh, you ever place have Canada? Yeah, yeah, like this place this place like this in the Canada. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I think is interesting is that this is Montreal in Quebec. This is where they speak French, French, Canadian French. <laughs> Yeah, and when they sing, when they sing, it sounds like this. <laughs> crikey dinga, crikey dinga. Ah. Ah. Oh, I came to a free show, and it's yeah, not yeah, funny. Yeah. Ah. I didn't get into the prices right. Ah. Nah, all of a sudden, I sound like Louie Anderson. Yeah. Ah. Oh, no, yeah. Look, Drew Carey got too skinny. Ah. <laughs> the hell? The 
that's just rude, isn't it? Your, your pop noise is deeper than mine. <laughs> Uh, Lindsay in Montreal, Quebec says, Dear Craig and Jeff, I recently caught my boyfriend cheating on me. I want to make a website telling everyone what he did. Is this idea insane or brilliant? Um, <laughs> kind of pointless now, isn't it? <laughs> you have been cheating on me! <laughs> This is from Peter in Washington, D.C. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean Peter or Washington, D.C.? <laughs> I think you know what I mean. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Peter says, Dear Craig, why do you never button the top of your shirt? Ah, uh, because I got a very fat neck. It's a, <laughs> it's a genetic condition. Um, do you have a fat neck, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no neck. Yeah. Same thing. Uh, this is from Alicia in uh, Dover in New Hampshire. Have you ever been there? I certainly have not. Okay. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, if the two of you were to stop being friends, would you still work together? I, I can't imagine us not being friends, can you, Jeff? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Why, Jeff and I like to go out of an evening. We're like, uh, we're like a Laurel and, um... <laughs> I was going to say Laurel and Hardy, and then, but that means I have to be the fat one. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. All right, then, what about uh, we're like Abbott and... C no, because then I, right there again, I'm the fat one. No, we're, we're like, we're like uh, Lewis and Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, man. <laughs> this is from Brittany in uh, Boston. I don't know if you can tell from this uh, photograph, but Brittany is a flamingo. Mm. Mm. Do you know the thing about flamingos is they stink. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. I mean, no disrespect to any flamingos that may be watching. <laughs> What does he say? I'm outraged. No, they do, don't they? Have you ever been up to the zoo there? Oh, yeah, they, they smell, but it's worth it. Really? <laughs> I don't know, man. They don't smell in, like, in a good smell. They smell bad. It's not like, it's not like you walk up there and you're is that bacon? No, it's not. It's not like you go, bacon, flamingo? It's easy to tell the difference between bacon and flamingo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear Jeff and Craig and everybody, uh, you spend each night giving out advice. Do you need advice on anything? <laughs> if I listened to advice, I wouldn't be sitting here, would I? <laughs> Do you need any advice, Jeff? Do you want yeah, any this advice? This is a surly audience. Oh, they're bad. They're bad, man. They're really bad. I can feel their hatred. <laughs> It's palpable. It's like, you know what it's like? It's like when you, it's like walking up to a group of flamingos. You can smell their, it's like the, their hatred smells of flamingo. Yep, but it's so worth it. It's worth it, yeah. Uh, this is from Travis in uh, Mananasas in Virginia. Uh, you don't know if you could tell, uh, Travis is a chick. See that? Mm. Or he might, he might just be dressed as a chick. Dear Craig, I, I, it doesn't put to you, it just put Dear Craig. You rude bastard. <laughs> Did you just order that? They just ordered that. What the hell? What the They're hell wrong with you people? <laughs> we out of time? All right, this is from Timothy in Madison, Wisconsin. We are out of time, but don't matter. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Fire me? Oh, that's it. That, you've been late once too often. Get out. Um, dear Craig and Jeff, after eight years of being single... Oh, shut up. <laughs> this is from David in Long Island, New York. Dear Craig and Jeff, is it really more that important to carry scissors by the blade? I think in certain situations it could be just as if not more dangerous than holding... Oh, so good. <laughs> This is from Johnny in Columbia in uh, South Carolina. It says, Dear Craig, uh, it doesn't say you, Jeff, but I'm going to read it because it's the last one and we want to go for the big finish here. Johnny, you're an ass. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Dear Craig, my friend constantly talks on his phone while we're at restaurants. I think, excuse me a second. <laughs> uh, 
Dear Craig, my friend constantly talks on his phone while we're at restaurants. I think it's really rude, but he continues to do it. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that, Jeff? Point at people while you're phoning them? Do you ever use a phone, Jeff? Can you get that, that arm as high as your ear, Jeff? I hate you. Yeah. Yeah, but it's worth it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We'll be right back, everybody. Me, Jeff. <laughs> I, I, I can't. Sure you can, buddy. Come on. Uh, I, Come on, think back to your Tony Robbins tape. Come on. I, do, do it one more time. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at my ass! Oh, yeah. My first guest tonight is in a show called Hot in Cleveland, which is on Wednesdays on TV Land. Take a look at this. Please welcome the lovely Valerie Bertinelli, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. Sorry about the mess, Valerie. We've had some uh, trouble with the audience. You're a very messy man. Yeah, no, they're terrible. You look great. Oh, you're blaming them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're openly hostile. They're judging me. They were... <laughs> To Jeff, I don't know if you can smell that flamingo smell. That, uh, did you know, are you? Does whoa, it, did it, you it, just it, pull up your boots and cross your legs? <laughs> you are my type of girl. Oh you're my. looking great, Valerie. Thank you very you're much. Like great. Have Thanks. you got some kind of weird moisturizer or something? Because you look great. I mean, really. Thank you. I think. No, no. I mean, because I saw the beginning. No, that's not true. Because you're married, as am I. Right. You yeah. said something about sex in the beginning in your I monologue. I never talk about sex in this show. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I you also said a bad word. What, what, what bad word you did said I say? F word. Well, I did say that. Did they bleep it out? No. <laughs> no, it went out to America. CBS doesn't care. No, uh, no, of not course not. this they, hour. No, no, they, they get very angry at Do me. Do they? Yeah, oh. it's the only reason I Are do it. Are you trying to get fired? I think it would help my image as a kind of <laughs> bad boy, bad boy unemployed, mm. you know, wandering the streets from town to town, solving problems or crimes. Look, look yeah. You solved all their problems. Well, do you, you solve problems? You away. Well, I, because, that's only because I don't care about their problems. <laughs> didn't you do that once? Didn't you do that Solve once? problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you solve crimes? Did I? Yeah, before you were an actress. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like you were, like, weren't you a child crime solver? <laughs> yeah, you know, you should do no. that. Okay. You know, because look, hot. Because I don't like my job now. No, no, this is what I'm saying. All right. Hot in Cleveland, right? You shoot, like, through what the. What did you call it? Hot in Cleveland. God, okay. <laughs> what was it called? Hot in Cleveland. That's what I said. Hot in Cleveland. <laughs> I'm originally not from the Los Angeles area. That's Hotton Cleveland. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> you need to come on our show, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. If you're going to spank just anything, put spank your ass this. in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have yeah. you know that's not the first ass I've had in my face. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, here really to oh, stop. I was going to try and get here by that one. Here we are again. <laughs> you discussing your sexual history on the show in a candid and completely forthright manner uh -huh. with the viewers and all the stuff that's going to be on the internet tomorrow about you talking about that. Right. Your ass in my face. <laughs> a man can dream. <laughs> Our show, first of I'm all, Betty, I, who yeah, loves you, I, 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 and yeah, our yeah. script supervisor, Kari, has a major crush on you. Major. Okay, that's all that I need. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's it. Hi, Kari. Hey, uh, hey, Kari. Yeah, Kari. <laughs> Curry? Kari? Kari. Kari. <laughs> Kari. See, that I thought you would get right. That whole okay, Lynn. <laughs> Right up your aisle. I said, hot 
in Cleveland. You want me to talk like this? There, I can do this. This is the only voice I, I, I'm sort of Harvey Fairstein. <laughs> Um, you, no, I'd like to do the show. Didn't you have Rickles on recently? Yeah. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he was on last week. Yeah, now we have Sandra Bernhard and Laura Sanjay Como. You, and uh, Gilles Marini is on, are on uh, this Wednesday night. I don't know who that is, but I tell he's you... He's a very <laughs> amazing looking Frenchman. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Lauren Sanjian, come on with that. Laura, yes. Yeah. She plays my sister. She is, uh, she's lovely. She's a hottie. I, I wasn't, she was in a movie I liked once. Sex, Lies, and... That was the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was yeah, a while that, ago. That was a good movie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, good How times. How old are you? I'm 100. <laughs> I'm 49, I'm going to be 50 next year. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm congratulations. I, no, I'm not. I very well. It's better than the alternative. Well, yes, that's true. But I, you know, I'm beginning to really geese out. You know, I mean. No. I forget. Ooh la la. All, All the time. time. <laughs> All the time. Like I go to, I give my kids into trouble, and then I go, like, "Hey, you!" And they're like, "What?" And I'm like, oh, "I forget." <laughs> <laughs> or who are you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you! Get off my lawn. We live here. Doesn't matter. Get out of here. <laughs> No, I'm 51. I can tell you it's really fun on this side. What? You it's really fun on this side. You look like 18. <laughs> oh, you're Really, sweet. Valerie, I'm not, I'm not just saying that because yes, I'm are. a smarmy talk show host. No. <laughs> no, I have said it to women because I'm a smarmy talk show host, but I'm not just that. You really look amazing. I, I mean... <laughs> uh, here's how I know it's true because this audience doesn't give anybody anything. <laughs> And yeah, they are willing. They to look go. very nice to me. Well, yeah, they look. They're... Jeff's been awfully quiet this whole time. He's I don't know why Jeff I think isn't he's a little speaking to me. He's got a bit of a crush. Oh, Jeff, how you yeah, doing? I was just uh, silent. I was thinking about that ass in the face business. <laughs> I was going to say it smells bad, but it's worth it. <laughs> I love you too, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, have you got uh, your own robot? Uh, I don't you have my own saying? Jeff. You know what no. I'm saying? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't have my own Jeff. I think it might be fun. I would probably spell his name differently, though. I hate it when people spell their name weird. <laughs> no, but do you know, you know, like, Charday? It's Sade. You know? Have you ever seen? It's not Charday. Spell it correctly. I'm just being no, horrible. No, 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 no. Charday. I mean, I love her music. She's got a beautiful voice, but she doesn't spell her name correctly. I, I don't mind how she spells her name, but I don't care for her music. Really? No, of course I Smooth operator. <laughs> the sweetest yeah. taboo. Yeah. Me and Jeff, we went to our last concert here in L.A. Did you? No. <laughs> Do you go out to the I, rock concerts? No, I don't. No, no I, I spent a lot of years going to rock concerts. Okay. Yeah. So that the same band off? over and over right. that, and that's over. That's different. Do you go yeah. and see other bands now? Do you ever go out? What do you do in LA? What do you go and see? I go to, I'm 51. I go to bed. I go to bed early. <laughs> and I'm newly married. Yes, there yes. you are. So do, where, do, do you make the show in Cleveland? You can't do that. You make no, it in LA, we right? make it here in Los Angeles. Right, yeah. Yeah. Have you met Drew Carey? I don't, I think I have not met Drew. But I, have I met Drew? I don't remember. <laughs> sorry, hey, yeah, you are 51 no, after sorry. all. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. But he's, I, I believe he might be doing our show this week. He is awesome, but he's from Cleveland. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's Yes, my, my husband is from the Akron Canton area, Cuyahoga Falls. You don't have any idea <laughs> where that is. No, I know, it's, where, it's I know where Akron is. South I, I, know, of, I got some friends from Akron. Really? Oh, yeah. Akron, Ohio, Akron. or Akron, no, wherever Akron you're used from? No, Akron used to have the tire factories in Akron. They used to have the three different big You do parts. know? Oh, yeah, I know all about Akron. Akron's very important to me. It's a very important place in my life. Ah, you think impressed. I'm kidding, but Akron has just got something. That Akron gave the world tires and many other things. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Akron's to the south of Cleveland. I've yes, it there. is. Yes, and, yeah. it's, and it's to the north of Canton, where the NFL Never been Hall of Fame is. No, no, no. I'm not no? going there. Okay. <laughs> A little too far south. Yeah. You. Have you ever uh, have you ever been to Canton? To Canton? Mm. Yeah, I went to the Hall of Fame. You did? Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you're saying. <laughs> I understand your accent. <laughs> you understand my accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of football? I love football. What Big Saints and Cleveland fan. Oh, really? Big Saints fan. Have been for 30 years, so you can imagine my joy two years ago when they went to the Super Bowl and won. Yeah, no, I remember. Even I remember that. Yes, that was very exciting. Yeah, for Jeff our was crazy that day. Yeah? Oh, out of my mind. 
<laughs> Wait, did Jeff exist then? No. Okay. <laughs> did you? Sorry, Jeff. No, I, I love you on that hot and clay. <laughs> Clearly. I don't talk like that. You do talk like right that. I don't talk like that. <laughs> All right, we're out of time, Valerie. Yeah. You want to okay. go for uh, awkward pause, big cash prize? Uh, what's what inside my for? box? What should I go for? Well, there's a new one we're very excited about. It's called Guess What's in My Box. And what it is... <laughs> it's a good thing you're a guy. No, no. It, it's, it, what happens is I imagine a box in my head. Oh, God. <laughs> then I imagine something inside it. And the only person that knows the answer is Jeff. And if you get, we ask you what it is, and if you get it right, you win $50. Really? Yeah. Do you want to try it? Okay. All right, what time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the Big Cash Prize. All right. All right, $50. $50, all right? Really? Yeah, yeah. If I get it right, you're actually going to give me 50 Yeah, bucks? yeah, you can use them. You can buy anything you like. You can spend money on flamingo scents, anything Christmas you time, want. It's so, okay. All right? Yeah, you... Flamingo like bacon? Is that what you said? Flaming, if flamingos smelt Flamingo more like bacon, they'd be more popular. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah, they, have you ever have you ever been up to the LA Zoo and smelt those? Uh, no, I don't go up and smell animals. <laughs> but I do like bacon. Well, that, that has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Okay. That's, a, that's kind of an animal, bacon. Yeah, dead. <laughs> Buzzkill. All right. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm imagining a box. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm imagining. I'm imagining what your box, box here, Valerie. Right? <laughs> what color is the box? Let me. It's. Um... Am I supposed to guess? <laughs> no, no. I'm. I'm imagining the box. It's kind of pink. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid of that. Yeah. All right. Now. There's something. <laughs> <inside>. <laughs> there's something inside the box. I'm imagining it. Go ahead, Valerie. What is it? Seriously? Yeah, yeah. What the hell's wrong with you? Haven't you ever seen television before? This is how it works. Come on. But you could say no or yes if you wanted me to win or didn't want me to win. So this will prove how much you like me. <laughs> or not. What's in the box in your head? Yes. A horse. Jeff, is she right? A horse <laughs> is correct. Yes! If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. is a sensational comedian. He's at the Bijou Theatre in Knoxville, Tennessee, December the 17th. Please welcome the lovely Henry Cho, everybody. Henry Cho. Oh, you guys are too kind. Hey, uh, my name is uh, Henry Cho. I'm a uh, full-blooded Korean. I was born and raised in Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> I don't speak Korean, though, because uh, they didn't offer it in my high school. <laughs> I took Spanish. <laughs> I did go to Korea, though, one time, 25 years ago. I went with my dad. This is weird, because Korean people walk up and start talking to me. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I'm like, how y'all doing? <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> I did go with my dad. This is weird. You got to follow me on this. Back home in Knoxville, we're the only Asian people. My dad's the only Asian man I've ever seen in my life before I went to Korea. <laughs> so I could pick my dad at any crowd like that. <laughs> this reversed on me in Korea. <laughs> we got to plane. He walked 20 feet away, and I just lost him. <laughs> Found like an hour later, Dad, don't leave me, man. <laughs> They're talking to me. <laughs> Only travel I've been doing out of the world now, across the world now, has been uh, mission trips, third world countries, you know, third world countries. You know, I was in India. Crazy thing about there, they have no shower curtains. <laughs> Unbelievable, no shower curtains. Same kind of bathroom, no shower curtain, water goes everywhere. But I started thinking, wow, you know, the movie Psycho would not work here. <laughs> There'd be no 
It'd be, what are you doing here, man? Close the door, it's cold, dude. You know, the one thing I noticed in third world countries they all have in common is lack of food. Lack of food. We have so much food in this country, it's unbelievable. You know, we have the food network. We have eating competitions. We have so much food, we develop allergies to food. Doesn't happen in third world. I guarantee you there's no one in Honduras that was uh, lactose intolerant. Not one kid when I gave him a sandwich in a little village in India, not one kid went, hey, uh, uh, does that have peanut butter? No peanut butter, man. My wife's going to Haiti soon. My wife is awesome. Been married uh, 13 years. 13 years of marriage. It's great. I, oh, you don't have time. Well, yeah, I am in showbiz. That's like 112. But anyway. <laughs> but my wife is great. My wife's like most wives. My wife can find anything. The other day, my oldest boy, Jackson, lost his DS in my truck. He and I go looking for it. My truck's not dirty. It's not in there. I came in and go, honey, not in there. She's like, well, let me go look. <laughs> I'm like, well, go look. <laughs> Oh, she was outside when I said that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> so she's back in 30 seconds. It was right there. I'm like, man. She hands it to Jackson, walks off. He looks at me and goes, how does she do that? I go, well, she's a witch. <laughs> you ever seen your mom float? Your mom can't float. Witches can't float. Your mom's a witch. He's like, Mom can find anything except her own cell phone. <laughs> My wife loses her cell phone 20 times a day. She has two phones so she can find the other phone. <laughs> Luckily, she's in her own circle of five friends, so it's cheaper. <laughs> I thought with all the cell phones, she'd get all the talking out, but she doesn't. We still got to talk, you know? Women have to talk. It's a scientific fact. I'm not being sexist. Women use more words per day than men. It's not like 12 more. It's like thousands more. <laughs> And if you don't get them out, they build up like rollover minutes. <laughs> then we pay the penalty. <laughs> if my wife would figure out I don't care about 95% of the stuff she cares about, like her house, I don't care about her house. Our lives would be so much smoother. The other day I was watching a ball game. She just paused and goes, hey, Henry, uh, you like these curtains? I said, yes. <laughs> what do you like about them? No. <laughs> One of those gets you out of here, right? Y'all been great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's GP and the Ferns. Epilogue. Hey, uh, you know when we threw all that money that Valerie won at the audience? Yeah, I saw it. I didn't even cheer him up. <laughs> I mean, what the hell do they want, man? No, man. I mean, they came here free, admittedly a little disappointed that they had to come here, but free. They get in here, we give them a, a shot at candy, a dollar or so each, and still they're surly. No, it's only 50 bucks. Uh, it's all they can give me. Oh, 50 bucks. Oh, I don't care about that. You know what it is? I think it's a reflection on the uh, poor comedy of this show. <laughs> How dare you? Speak for yourself, man. How about what the what? That's right. You heard me. How dare you, sir? <laughs> oh, all right. Man, that was pretty easy. Can't you, you know, like, you know, back it up a little? Well, how dare you, good well, sir? Well, how dare you, sir? I perish the thought of working with you again. Well, I am absolutely flabbergasted at your churlishness, you naughty little bony dude. Good night, everybody. <laughs>